Hi guys, Jonathan here with Great by Electronics and today I'm going to compare and contrast a 2012 MacBook Pro with a 2013 MacBook Pro Retina. First thing you guys are going to notice is the MacBook Pro is a lot bulkier than the Retina. The Retina is all soldered together and that's a good and bad thing. On one hand, it's a good thing because it allows Apple to make the computer a lot smaller. On the other hand, it's a bad thing because you can't upgrade your RAM or a lot of other components like you can on the older MacBook Pros. Let me get these computers started real quick. Now that we got them going, let's take a look at the specs. The 2012 has a 2.9 GHz i7 processor with 8 gigs of RAM. It also has a 750 gigabyte regular hard drive. The Retina, on the other hand, has a 2.4 gigahertz i5 processor with four gigs of RAM, and it has a 128 gigabyte solid state drive. So this is the lowest model of the Retina family, while the non-Retina is the highest model that Apple offered at the time. 2012 was actually the first year that the Retina came out, but they still gave you the option to buy the non-Retina model. First thing I want to do is a shutdown test on both of these computers. I'm going to try to do it at the same time and see which powers off quickest. Well, there's really no comparison here. The Retina model powered off in about 5 seconds, while the non-Retina model is still going. The reason for this is the solid state drive compared to the normal hard drive. The solid state drive is flash memory so it's very quick. While with a normal hard drive you actually have a disk spinning and writing data and reading data. So it takes a lot longer to power off and it should take a lot longer to power on too. Let's take a look. Again the retina powers up really quickly. If speed is your number one consideration, then Retina is probably your best bet. Though if you opt for the non-Retina model, you can always get a solid state drive and put it in. You can't go backwards with the Retina and put a regular hard drive in. Also, the non-Retina model, you can upgrade your RAM and a lot of other stuff. You still got the optic drive, which a lot of people want. Another big factor, of course, is the resolution. The non-Retina is 1280 by 800 while the Retina is 2560 by 1600. The non-Retina has an Intel HD graphics card while the Retina has a Intel Iris. So we're finally powered up in both. Let me put in my password really quick. Let's see if they load up at the same time. We're right about even here. I'm going to open up Safari and do some tests. First thing I'm going to try to do is load Apple's site. Pretty close. The non-retina is a little bit quicker because it does have that i7 processor compared to the i5 on the retina. Again, the non-retina wins. Try watching a video. Non-retina wins again. Though the video freezes up a little bit. This might be a bandwidth issue. I'm not sure. Next thing I want to do is go to YouTube and try another video. Both pages load pretty simultaneously. And here we go. Seems this time the retina was a little bit ahead, but not very noticeably. The decision of what computer you should buy is really based on a few things. 
Um, number one, if you need the resolution, you're a graphic designer, or you do movie editing, then the Retina is probably going to be better for you. Again, the speed's a lot faster. Um, if you're a graphic designer or something like that, I'd recommend getting a higher hard drive and more RAM though. For your everyday user, the non-retina may be better because you get a lot more storage space. You can upgrade everything. You've got that optic drive to watch movies. Um, let's test out Photo Booth real quick and see how that loads. And there I am. Both seem to load at the same time. The resolution's a lot better on the retina. I look a lot clearer. The non-retina, you can see I'm kind of whited out. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. As always, this video is brought to you by GreatByElectronics.com. We buy MacBook Pros, iPads, iPhone, Android devices, and a lot more. Go to GreatByElectronics.com and get a fast and easy quote. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.